guys and welcome to another exciting episode of You've Got Issues. I'm your host, Idia Asian. The first issue reads, I love my woman and would marry her even if my family disapproves and my parents know. I have no problems with her wearing a leg chain or an anklet, but I would rather she takes them off when introducing her to my family. I have appealed to her, but she won't budge. Please, how do I help her see this is an avoidable battle as we meet my family? Or am I being irrational? For me, I don't know. I really think that, you know, who you marry is who you want to present. So exactly. I don't really get why she needs to change who she is because but then again, I guess it's just maybe it's just an African thing because a lot of people do that. Yeah. They say you have to package yourself <laughs> for the in-laws. <laughs> but for me personally, I don't think I, if I was her, I wouldn't budge. Okay. But if I was to advise her, I think she should budge because that's something that will make him happy. But I don't know, how do you yeah. feel about it? Um, I think, first off, I, I, I wish I had more information on this question. Is the only problem the fact that she wears anklets? Anklets, what was it? I mean, <laughs> is that the only problem? That's not even like a tattoo. Or like, a that's not even a major problem. I understand him asking her to take them off when if it's an initial meeting, you know what they yeah, say, first course. impression. Really so it's, I, I understand that it might be better to go plain, you know, let them like you exactly. for your personality. Yeah. Let them have nothing negative to say Nothing as well. negative to say, yeah. Even though, even though, even though, I, I kind of also understand her wanting to be who she is. Exactly. You know? Because if they're going to get married, she's going to live her life the way she normally does exactly and the parents are going to at some point see those anklets if, that is, the, if yeah. that is the problem so is it, is it that when you know she's cooking one day and the mother-in-law knocks on the door in. yeah <laughs> and is an anklet is so it's so petty. i mean is that really the, the problem the, wife, the girls that don't cook i'm the telling you there's major I'm issues exactly yeah. so an anklet mm, i don't think he's got Maybe issues there's more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. the third issue reads dear idea I often think of leaving my job because of how annoying people are in my workplace, but I know how difficult it was getting this job. How do I handle working with people who annoy me? Oh, uh, okay. At first, I'm, because I'm very, very blunt, so I'm yeah. the kind of person that would be, normally be confrontational. But in the industry we're in, you know that you can't be confrontational because yeah. people won't call you up for work. So or they will just pass, the word goes out really quick. So I just decided to play this game that someone taught me in, in America, which is just say in your mind, but always smile. So when people annoy me, I just say, like in my mind, I just say, oh, this son of a... <laughs> 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 I just, yeah, I just be like, oh, yeah. look at this idiot, right? Like, well, I'm just literally smiling, like... Yeah. Because that way you, you get to deal with it with you, yourself and I, mm -hmm. but you also don't give a bad impression of the kind of person you are. Because what yeah. people actually try to do is, if you're really good at what you do, people will try and frustrate you out yeah. of it because yeah. you are shining their shine. Yeah. And nobody wants you to stand in front of their light. So exactly. you just have to be very, very strong about where you want to be. And like you said, it's really hard getting a job. And money, if the money sounds good, I'm sorry, girl. Yeah. I'm going to give it away for... For somebody that, <laughs> for someone that's annoying work you. Hard. Yeah. Exactly, work hard yeah. and be a team player and just yeah. keep smiling and keep saying the things in your head. People are less likely to annoy you if you are the leader, if yeah. you are in charge. So work even harder, become the team leader, become the head of the whatever team, head of the department. And then <laughs> you'd be the one annoying people most yeah. likely. Yeah. So just cause people out in your head. <laughs> work harder, try not to think about it too much. But I mean, do not still be firm. Don't yeah. let people walk over you. Yeah. Never let people walk over you. Whenever there's an issue, the yeah. first thing I look at is what is the root of that issue? Yeah. Why are those people annoying you? You yeah. may actually be the annoying person. You, yeah. you yeah. Yeah. And if there's a lot of people annoying you, then maybe you're not being a team player. Maybe everybody works on something and you're the one that, you know, instead of like compromising, figuring it out, because at the end of the day, work is only as good as the weakest person on the team. So you have to, you have to always learn how to manage people. Do you understand? There's going to be different personalities, strong personalities. You have to learn, to, oh, this is when I keep quiet and just yeah. lay back. Yeah. This is when I voice my opinion and be like, guys, honestly, like, you know, this is personal, this is work. Like, we need to put this aside. But I don't know about, like, crossing people in your head. I feel like one day you just explode. <laughs> you explode. Like, oh, you have to be professional. Why you turn around and be like, Isn't it cool? <laughs> smile. <laughs> and they say, oh, I should <laughs> So you've heard from our two lovely ladies. And